Hi guys and welcome to Liam's Tech Guide. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of features that I found out that you can use with the Ring Video Doorbell. These are quite handy features. So the two features I am going to show you is how to use your Alexa device as a chime for your house with the Ring Video Doorbell. So when you press the doorbell, um, it will give you that chime noise which you get with a more traditional doorbell. And the second feature I'm going to show you is how to get your video feed live on your TV so you can use it more as a security um, feature. So if you want to see what's happening outside your house, you can view it on your TV rather than using your device. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to set up a chime. So this could be useful because if you don't have your phone or device on you, if someone rings the doorbell, you're going to miss whoever is at the door so by setting up this feature if you're in the house and you have numerous different levels of the house such as myself if you have an echo device on each floor um, it will actually chime and notify you that someone's at the door so to set this up first things first you need to get the alexa app you just get that by going to the app store and typing in alexa and it is the app so the bottom right hand corner is this little blue square click on that and that is the amazon alexa what you need to do first is the top left hand corner, plus skills and games, and then search for ring. As you can see in my skills, I already have ring shown up there. Once that ins is installed, it'll ask you to log in using your normal credentials that you set up with ring initially. It will then ask you to discover new devices. And once you discover new devices, it will show up your front door. It will show as a camera. It won't show as a doorbell. It will be under the camera section. Once you've done that, just go back to home and then the bottom right hand corner, click on devices. You click on devices. And as you can see, you've got all the different um, smart devices that, that I have set up in my home. So you wanna click on cameras, you wanna click on front door and then you get greeted with these settings. So you want to toggle on the door press. That was actually toggled off when I initially set it up. So toggle that on, and that will enable the chime feature on your Echo devices. And then you can alter what sound you get. You can also get it to notify you when motion is sensed. So as you can see, I've got that toggled off in the minute. The reason I've got that toggled off is because I do live on a quite a busy road at the minute due to construction happening um, towards the end of the road. So I've turned that off because I don't want to get notified every time um, someone goes past my house. Um, you can also change the description. You can also change the type and you can also just enable the whole feature and disable it. So that's quite handy. If um, you go away, um, you can just disable that so it doesn't ring for your echo devices whilst you're away um, once you settle this up when you press the doorbell you get greeted with this someone is at the front door so that feature was nice and easy to set up and the second feature is just as easy to set up so to get the ring video doorbell to show a live feed on your tv you will need a bit of additional hardware and this additional hardware is again from Amazon. It is a Fire Stick or a Fire TV. So they do these in different varieties. You can get a Fire Stick, um, a Fire Stick 4K or Ultra HD, a Fire TV or a Fire TV 4K. What this uses is the Alexa app. So they all have Alexa built in. Um, this doesn't use a Fire TV app, so a lot of people that I've seen online have looked for the Ring Video Doorbell in the App Store via the Fire Stick. It's not actually in there. You need to set it up via the Alexa app. So to do this, download the Alexa app on your device, as I've shown you in the previous segment of this video. If you haven't got the skill enabled, you will need to enable the skill. So go to top right hand corner, um, uh, top left hand corner, sorry, go to skills and games. And then you can search for Ring. Um, as you can see, I've already got it enabled on here already. Once you've got that enabled, you need to set up your Fire TV device with the same account that you set up for your Alexa device. So it needs to be the same login credentials and it needs to be the same Wi-Fi network. 
It doesn't work if you have a different account set up on your Fire TV device to the one that you have set up in your Alexa app. It needs to be exactly the same. Otherwise, for some reason, it, it doesn't find it. Once you've done that, go in the top left-hand corner, press on the three lines, go down to settings, and then go down to TV and video. As you can see, you get given Fire TV and Xbox. You can actually set it up via Xbox as well um, if you don't have a Fire TV device. Click Fire TV. Click Link Your Alexa Device. It'll say, sorry, we cannot find, but give it a few seconds. Um, the first time I've done it actually took about a minute to find it, so just be a little bit patient with it. Click on the Fire TV. Click Continue. Um, it'll ask you which Alexa device you want to control your TV. You can actually only use one Alexa device per TV. So obviously I'm going to use the Lounge Echo Dot. Link device. And easy as that, it's linked. So once you have linked your device, you are then finished in the app. So you can then close down the app. You can then draw your attention to your TV with your Fire TV or Fire TV stick uh, plugged in. As you can see, I've just got the home screen on mine. Um, to get the live feed to show on the TV, all you need to do is simply say, Alexa, show the front door. Okay. Then what this will do is trigger the app to load up the live feed from the front door. So it does include video and it also includes sound from your Ring Video doorbell. To stop the feed, you simply go, Alexa, stop. And there you go, it closed down the live feed. So you can actually answer the door using the live feed um, because it has got the two-way talk uh, feature on there. Um, you can also pause the feed and you can also find um, previous feeds if you want to view a bit of footage that it's recorded um, previously. So that is the end of this video. It's just a couple of features that I found that could come in quite handy to some people that own a Ring Video doorbell and own... Um, Amazon Echo devices. If you like this video, then please give it a like rating. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos such as this. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.